Hello, 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 Mark here for another tutorial for my beginners in After Effects CS5 and 5.5. Today, we will be talking about masks. Mask? What the heck is mask, you say? Well, I'm going to tell you. Today, we're going to do a, a simple effect with mask. Masks are used every time pretty much you work in After Effects. You will be using masks. Uh, masks are your friend. We're going to do a little bit of keyframing. We're going to go over uh, some different uh, things with the masks and really uh, get to know our masks for this simple effect. So I'm going to take my footage, come down here, create a new comp, and put down. There it is. I'm going to go over near the end. For some reason, this thing is really, really slow. Sure, why? I don't know if it's a bug or something, but anyways. So I'm, right now I want to make a plate, which is going to be right there. I don't want anything in there, no movement at all. Uh, edit, split layer, put that in the bottom. Right click, time, freeze frame. And it should be good there to go. So now I have just a straight up no movement shot of uh, the background. It's got to be on the bottom. So that way when I put a mask on, and basically the mask is going to uh, subtract from this layer and, and reveal. Basically a mask is going to reveal the, the layer below it is what a mask does. It reveals the layer below it. I just had an epiphany. All right, so let's see. I mean this page down to get where you want to be. I'm going to start right there as good as place as any. So I'm going to alt begin bracket and I'm going to push the pin back. I'm just going to press begin bracket by itself now. And um, there it is. There is the ball and my hand and whatnot. I'm going to increase this so I can see it better. Um, hold down sh space bar and this will allow you to move the entire place let go and there you go so make sure you have your top layer selected and that's your footage layer I'm going to uh, click on the ellipse tool I'm going to hold it down that way I can pick between rectangle round and rectangle ellipse polygon tool and star this, these just create the shapes that uh, are on there I put ellipse I'm gonna while the top layer is selected press down and then this now you can see it's not like a perfect circle to get a perfect circle just press shift all right and I want it a little bit bigger right about there okay and now I want to go back up here and hit the selection tool because if I if I press go on there again it's gonna make another uh, ellipse and I don't want one so I'm gonna click on that or press the V if you go up here you'll notice it's gonna have the um, it says selection tool and then the number next to it V that's a shortcut keyboard shortcut V this is going to be Q and this is G. All right, just a little food for thought. Now, a little keyboard trick here to move the entire mask in its in its shape that it's in. I'm going to press down Alt, hold down Alt, and then move the mask, and it'll move the whole thing. Just like a okay. To take the mask away. That my footage must not be uh, there. We go. Must not be right on there. Now it is. All right. So I'm gonna select the mask, and now I can use my arrows. My arrows. Select the mask. There we go. And now I can use my arrows. Now that I got my mask selected. I can use my arrow keys to dial in the. And then I want to take this away just so I can see how it looks. So, and you can move it without uh, it showing too. So, I like that. That's good. Now, you want to toggle down this arrow right here, and there's mass path. I want to hit the time the, the time stopwatch here, and that's going to start a keyframe. Now, from this time forward, and even backwards, if I was in the middle. 
it's going to uh, do automatic keyframes every time that I move mask okay so now I'm going to page down hit page down it's going to move it forward one two I move it three forward three times and make sure I have my mask selected and I can use the arrow key to go over here and move my mask okay I like doing it without it because I can really see. And now you notice if I, if I go back, the mask will follow automatically because it, Adobe set the keyframes automatically. Okay, so we'll move forward again. We'll move this forward here. That's good. Again. Move it like this. Go again like three times. I just did four that time. Now you're saying, what if you make a mistake and it doesn't look good? Let's see if I did make a mistake. Well, so uh, let's see. I'll do one this time. I'm gonna move it like. All right. So I'm gonna put it up here. And you know, you don't have to do every keyframe. I mean, I've done work where I had to do every keyframe, and it's 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 time-consuming right. good now let's go back and so now you can see it's not yeah right there it's like coming down so just fix that part fix that part and then it'll readjust I know we will do the work for you it'll readjust readjust and this is basically all you do for this, this is simply it's simple. It's to the point, but this is all you do. You just basically this, you're rotoscoping right now. You're just following the movement, keep making keyframes for the movement and following the mask. Now Adobe has a rotoscope tool that does you know somewhat automatically. I mean CS5 it wasn't nothing great that I ever used. I mean, so who am I, right? Just a guy trying to uh, do what he loves. All right, so there we go. You basically get the idea. You don't gotta sit here and watch me do this all night to get the picture. So let's see. Let me fit. Uh, now you press uh, letter zero, and it'll start. No, I didn't. You know, I only had the whole thing, so I don't want to go. I'm gonna press zero again. So it's gonna spray empty. There you go. There's your ball float. Now I have it set on, you know, third. I could have it set on full, and it will full res. You know, it's gonna take longer. But if you work on, you know, third, I had it on auto actually third and uh, you can work faster so it's pretty cool but when you're doing like really close up effect you want to have it on full all right a couple things with the mask let's see 100 percent space bar again you can do some feathering so that'll watch the ball see it'll like I mean, three is okay. I mean, you're gonna find some some uh, uh, projects that you're gonna have to crank it up to like you know, 300. But I mean, 14 is okay. Four is all right. Like four, and expansion will make it wider or smaller, which definitely comes in handy for a bunch of other effects too. But to mess around with it, definitely uh, see what you can do. And uh, the only way to learn is to keep doing it. And uh, like I said, this is a quick, fast, dirty tutorial on a mask, creating a simple effect. But you can use it to do cloning, to do just a bunch of things with that simple little thing I showed you. And uh, again, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.